Astronomers have detected yet another fast radio burst outside of our galaxy. But this one is a little bit of a special one and it's rather mysterious. Most radio bursts release pulses of energy or radio emission that can last up to a millisecond. They can emit once and disappear completely or they can emit repeatedly in bursts of activity. But the newly discovered one which is repeating and is located 3 billion light years away in a different dwarf galaxy actually also is persistent which means that between different bursts of energy and radio emission there is also a persistent garbled weak radio emission meaning that it is constantly emitting and whenever it does we are picking it up. These findings have implications for what we understand about the universe around us and the formation and evolution of fast radio bursts themselves as well as the neighborhood around our galaxy. Fast radio bursts are one of the most mysterious phenomena in the universe because they are new and mostly they are transient so they cannot be observed and studied consistently. Here's what we know about them so far. In our scientific literature, they are just about 15 or so years old. They were first discovered in 2007 from archived data from 2001 and they are of course detected with radio telescopes. Fast radio bursts or FRBs are bursts of radio energy, a pulse of transient electromagnetic emission in the radio frequency that lasts for a fraction of a millisecond to a few milliseconds. In just this amount of time, these fast radio bursts release nearly the same amount of energy as our sun does in a day, sometimes even more. Since 2007, many hundreds of fast radio bursts or FRBs have been detected. They come from all over the skies, meaning that there are fast radio bursts occurring all over the universe in all directions. Every single one that we have recorded has come from outside of our galaxy, except for one two years ago, which was the very first fast radio burst that was spotted inside the Milky Way galaxy. FRBs are generated within explosive powerful events like a supernova where a whole star explodes or when a black hole or a neutron star collides. These kind of fast radio bursts do not repeat. They occur only once because these explosive events occur only once. But once or twice a year, we do end up observing repeating fast radio bursts. These are ones that come from sources that are rotating and emit radio bursts in regular intervals. Typically, these tend to be powerful rotating neutron stars. But this particular one, the one that we've observed now, is even stranger. Not only is it repeating, it is also fuzzing. There is constant radio emission along with the FRBs. This is a very unique observation for a fast radio burst and in fact only one such FRB event has been observed before. This fast radio burst is named after the date on which it occurred. It was observed by Earth-based radio telescopes on the 20th of May 2019. Four bursts were detected within the first 24 seconds and in follow-up observations taken monthly in the middle of the year 2020, 75 bursts were detected in under 19 hours. The source of the repeating radio bursts is usually a neutron star, the collapsed and compact core of a dead star which now spins and emits energy. Other sources are magnetars, which are still neutron stars, but ones that spin excessively fast and have a very powerful magnetic field. There are also black holes that are feeding on other stars. These compact objects have high enough energy to create fast radio bursts, intense amounts of energy that can be emitted in pulses. The persisting radio signal comes from another source which is located in a star forming region near the fast radio burst source. It is very similar to the very first repeating burst from 2012 that astronomers identified. 
astronomers were able to figure out that the magnetar of this particular source was located within a star forming region. So there was lots of magnetic activity going around. So there was a single magnetar that was emitting FRBs and it was co-located in a star forming region which emitted continuously and persistently. This new one seems to be similar. It has a co-located counterpart that is a star forming region. This star forming region has a persistent radio source which could be anything. Within our solar system, for example, for Earth, a persistent radio source is Jupiter. With the first finding, it could have been explained away as a coincidence that a fast radio burst and a persistent source coexisted in the same area. But now with the second finding, it is apparent that this is a pattern. Unlike previously believed, fast radio bursts don't necessarily come only from explosive events or only from a spinning neutron star alone. The main question to understand from these findings is of course why fast radio bursts occur sometimes alongside persistent radio sources and if this material disperses, will the persistent signal also disperse? Another finding that the astronomers made about the source of this fast radio burst is that the signals from the source are undergoing something called plasma dispersion. This occurs when there is hot plasma under a strong magnetic field that the signals pass through. And plasma at this temperature and in this kind of setting is created only by explosive events like a supernova. So the authors theorize that the magnetar, the star which is the source of the fast radio bursts here, is actually pretty young and is still in its natal environment. There are now two examples of a persistent radio source coexisting with a fast radio burst and such events that are rarely observed are actually a huge boon to astronomy and will continue to be observed more and more because our technology is improving. These findings take us one step closer to understanding fast radio bursts in general, how they originate and how they evolve. And this is very hard to understand because a majority of FRBs that we observe last barely a millisecond. These two repeating radio bursts along with a persistent source show astronomers a new scenario in which sources of fast radio bursts can actually occur as a pattern. What happens to them as the galaxy itself evolves and the source also ages is something that is left to be seen for the future and is actually something that is being studied really seriously right now. <laughs>